Hey, I'm Colleen Taylor with TechCrunch TV. I'm here at Bloomingdale's in Palo Alto. Uh, midday on a Tuesday, I feel like a lady of leisure, but this is actually <laughs> for work. This is Saran Gunathilika, who is the CEO of Bodymetrics, a new company that scans women's bodies and finds the perfect fit of jeans for them. But I started and said it was a new company, but it's not a new company at all. You've been doing this for some time, but you're new to Palo Alto. Thanks for joining us. Pleasure to be here. So tell us about what body metrics is. Can you talk a bit about the, the technology that, that really powers this? So what body metrics does is that we map your body and then we find the perfect fitting clothes for you. Uh, at the moment, we're focusing on genes, in particular women's genes, because uh, finding the right pair of genes is, is quite a difficult challenge. And uh, in terms of the core technology, what we do to scan your body is that we use the same technology that is used in a Microsoft Kinect. So essentially, we have uh, 16 of those sensors inside our body metrics pod, which takes about a few seconds, about five seconds. And then from that, we extract about hundreds of measurements from that. And then we then derive a bunch of analytics, if you like, shape information. And then what we do is we match that to the information that we have of garments. So it's that matching, that search, if you like, that we are trying to do. And uh, so rather than you spending hours trying to find a perfect gene here, we can do that in minutes. And so Bloomingdale's already, because you're here at the Palo Alto Bloomingdale's, there's the pod here. Um, it already has, you know, hundreds of different fits and types and brands of genes. Um, can you explain why this is a problem for people to find the right, the right fit when there are so many options? So, um, the, the reason is that I guess you have to go back to how clothes are made. I mean, the, the way clothes are made by a designer and they fit that particular garment on a particular model, typically referred to as a fit model. So, who has a particular shape? And uh, what you do afterwards, if you like, is like an amplification process. You, you take that fit and you grade it into different sizes. So if you happen to be that shape, uh, similar to that shape of that fit model, great. Otherwise, tough luck. So, uh, so a lot of people think actually it's a problem, you know, it's their problem, but actually it's not. It's simply that it was an arbitrary judgment made by a designer to choose that particular fit model. And if you happen to be that shape, you fit, otherwise you don't. So the reason why it's difficult to find garments that fit is that say, if you have 10 different brands, they'll have 10 different fit models. So you have to do this sort of, you know, uh, try, try, you know, trial process, if you like, you know, try it on each one to see whether you match. Um, so what we're trying to do is to really try and automate that or trying to reduce the time you will spend that by really understanding uh, the fit of these garments. But oh, I, I think a lot of people would be um, a little bit nervous about walking into this pod. You see a lot of cameras in there and it's a soothing experience, but it could also be a little nerve-wracking. What's the security like? Who is seeing these images? And is it is it an x-ray? Is it like going through, you know, um, an airport scanner? Or, or what's the what's the image like that you guys have on your servers? So first of all, uh, it's not a camera. I mean, essentially, we don't use any of the image information. We use uh, the, what's called a point cloud. So that is effectively the kind of outline of your body or the outline of the points that are reflected back. Um, so uh, the technology is, as I said, um, it's the same technology that is in millions of households uh, in terms of the Microsoft Kinect. So it's a you know highly safe technology and which is simply uses light. Um, and we decided to go down that approach because uh, first of all these devices are relatively cheap compared to going down an airport scanner approach. Uh, and there are other companies using sort of body scanning based on that sort of airport type uh, scanning technology. But we didn't think uh, that was a, a right approach to go down. Down. So we went down a, uh, a much more sort of, um, you know, uh, widely available technology um, and we think that is the scalable approach to uh, solve this problem. Great. And, and you've just come to Palo Alto, I guess now a month ago, earlier this summer, um, but you have, you know, made quite a splash in London for a while now. You've been in London. What's your expansion plans from here? Can you tell us all the places of Bodymetrics is and what the plan is to grow from here? We'll um, really focus initially perhaps on the higher end uh, clothing stores but eventually we think this is going to this sort of technology is going to be everywhere uh, we think uh, you know there's seven billion people you know and uh, you know all of us have different bodies and uh, really everybody you know pretty much wears clothes and trying to find that 
clothes that fits you uh, is a difficult challenge and that you know gets amplified uh, when you're trying to do online clothes shopping so in terms of our expansion plans um, our focus is really to start here in California in Silicon Valley and then expand from here and can you tell us a bit about the company itself, how many people are working there, what's the funding situation like, all that good startup info? Right, so um, the company was started in, in London and um, our main uh, strategic partner and investor is a company called uh, TAL, T-A-L, which is one of the world's largest clothing manufacturers. They manufacture something like one in six uh, dress shirts sold in the United States. And um, so in terms of um, funding, you know, we've been funding both from, uh, been funded both by Tal and myself. And I think at some point we will do a, a further fundraising um, in, in the U.S. Why, why, why did you decide to come here for the expansion as opposed to New York, which has, which has a lot of tech now? Right. So we really decided to focus uh, on Silicon Valley and open here as opposed to say New York because uh, you know very much the future is, is made here and uh, we want to be in the company of amazing companies and you know, like Google, Facebook, Twitter and so forth. And, uh, and really I think you know this is the place where you know um, people get what we're doing and I think it was particularly um, you know I very much um, when I attended your conference uh, SF Disrupt uh, very much agree with say what uh, Ben Horowitz uh, had to say in his uh, in his speech that really you know we're seeing this massive revolution where you know whole industries are being eaten up by software and I think one of the last industries and you know what one, one of the things that we're doing is that we truly believe that fashion is you know is we're the biggest of being eaten up by software and really um, and for fashion to be digitized and to be to have a significant impact I think there are two parts to that one is actually digitizing garments and the other one is sort of digitizing bodies and I think uh, you know it's those two areas that we are focusing on and I think um, it's very much in the valley that I think some of these ideas are are being popularized so we were very happy to be here and the reaction has been great well, Saran, thank you for meeting with us here at Bloomingdale's. We're excited to see the machine in action. So keep us posted on Body Metrics. Sure, and thank you very much for having us.